Hello everyone, it's OG here. I've been building a few things. I thought I would share them with you. I started off by trying to put a jet engine on a car. Believe it or not, this started off as a DeLorean. Yeah, I know it doesn't look like one now, but that's where the inspiration came from. However, it became something else. It became this. I know it's not much to look at, but it's not its looks that make it so great. It's what it does. What is wrong with the sound of the engines? The engine sound is particularly bad since the last update. Most of my rockets are silent. Anyway, I'm not attempting a land speed record. I already have one of over 1,400, so I don't need this puny speed. But watch this. Yes, it flies. If you look at the altitude, you'll see it's increasing. I built a flying car. For some reason you have to roll left to roll right and roll right to roll left, but it still flies. No, I have almost no control over it. I wouldn't be able to fly it anywhere, but it does fly. Please excuse the wheels having a seizure. No amount of setting them differently changes that. Okay, so that's a thing I did. Wee Flying car! Heaven help us when we have to land it again. What else did I do? I crashed a plane made out of a truck. Yes, a truck with wings. I saved the game. And when I saved it, the wings were still on. I see they've now fallen off. That's unfortunate because this thing was quite unique in that... Oh, there we go. <laughs> it seems to be a, a, a perpetual motion machine of sorts. For reasons best known to itself. <laughs> I was driving it around on the island quite nicely. <laughs> it's, it's a little difficult to control. I saved it as the Glitch Rider. Um, one more Kraken Drive worthy source of infinite fuel and energy in KSP2. I, I wish they would sort the water out. It's getting quite annoying, to be honest. I'd like to build proper boats, but at the moment everything just keeps moving when you put it in the water. But at least it has fun effects. Anyway, I tried to build something else. This one was particularly tricky. I didn't go out to build a dark star. I honestly didn't. But somehow I ended up just building something that looked like one. Let's turn it into the sun, then you can see it a bit better. It is a nightmare, an absolute nightmare to fly. These engines, as good as they are at speed, they're pretty terrible when they're not at speed. And the problem is getting them up to speed, which is why this thing is in space. Because as you can see from the little nodules on the front here, it was attached to a rocket. I tried putting it into space just to get it enough speed to get it up to speed so that the scramjets would work so that it would work because most of the time this thing just wants to fly subsonic and when you see this thing flying around at 250 meters a second it's just sort of embarrassing if by some miracle you can get it up to about 400 meters a second 
then the engines kick in properly and it moves but to do that it's almost impossible look at it here it's doing over 900 but i won't be able to keep that speed which is kind of disappointing i just can't keep the engine power i just don't have the power Pulling out of the dive, pulling out of the dive. We're already subsonic. And the engine power is low again. So I had lots of frustrations with this aircraft. I was able to get it to speed when it was almost out of fuel. But that was about it. But I didn't give up that easily. I built many iterations of this over a couple of days. No, this didn't work either and makes for some alarming crashes when you try to get the rocket going sideways to get it up to speed. Then there's this, the Rapier engine version. It does work a bit better. The Rapier engines perform very similarly to scramjets. They also like a lot of speed. But you have the option of switching them into rocket mode and then they go a little bit faster but not much what what why why did the cargo bay open just why ksp2 you make me old you give me gray hairs but if you turn the speedo off and you just look at it, it's still really pretty. I got some great screenshots. I'll try to include a few of those. Great screenshots. Don't look now. But we're getting good altitude, good speed, and good thrust. Don't even breathe too loud. Come on, Dark Star. You can do it. Many, many many tweaks were required to get it to this stage it also cost me the air brakes there in the middle which is unfortunate because they complete the look the look did change slightly i reduced the wing area just to get rid of a little bit of drag reduced it more and more until it started to look like a starfighter But this is what you ultimately want your Dark Star to do. Move at high thrust. However, it still won't work well at low altitude. So you can't do those ridiculously fast flybys at very low altitude. Though you can try. And you can get it pretty fast. The trick with the Dark Star is this. You have to be going so fast that you outrun the Kraken. Of course that's impossible, but man can dream. And so can Kerbal. Sweet dreams, Bob. So I got a little cheaty and I threw in an additional engine and that helped a lot the wobbling yeah not so helpful
even with the third engine, you can see I'm barely maintaining supersonic speeds here at low altitude. But I'm on this run for a specific purpose. Let's hope I can fly straight. Okay, that's looking good. Saving just in case. And pause. Hey Val, what's that? Whoosh. <laughs> totally silent, of course. <laughs> Val, did you even see that? Did you? Did you? That was Tom Cruise, Val. You missed him. Tom! Tom, where's Tom? I want to see Tom! Tom! You missed him. Damn! If you're going to cheat with three engines, you may as well cheat with four. This thing actually does perform. It goes the speeds I need it to, but it's kind of frustrating that you have to put twice as many engines in as what I think you should and it necessitates extra intakes on top because otherwise you risk uh, depriving them of oxygen so it can be done it's just a little bit annoying it doesn't work quite right okay but you know in practice a Mach 10 aircraft is not really a feasible build anyway not at the best of times. The uh, stealth factor on this aircraft is somewhere in negative zero territory. Yes, negative zero. Have a heart attack, mathematicians. See if I care. I flew this one into space. Yes, I flew it there. Well, I didn't build it, but you know what I mean. It looks kind of pretty up in space. It's not an SSTO because it's not in O. Uh, what do I call it? An SSTS. Single stage to space. Though that's really not its intended purpose. But since it's not very good at its intended purpose, we may as well make it its purpose. It's like a Virgin Galactic type of flight, just a short hop up to space and then back down, though it's debatable if Virgin Galactic actually get to space or not. I say not. However, I'd still like to go on one of their flights. Call me a hypocrite. Hey Val, think quick. Whoa! You didn't even see that, did you? Oh, oh, don't don't look behind you now, Val. From OG and all the brave pilots at the Kerbal Test Center. Test Center? Space Center! We're a space program. We're totally not into test flights. Everything we do here is safe. From OG and all the pilots at Kerbal Space Center including those who have died. Thank you for watching. See you soon. OG, out.